Welcome to the third episode of The Digital Dish, where we dish on all things ad tech. This series topic is attribution. The digital age has brought a wealth of opportunity for businesses of all sizes. With that opportunity comes a new set of challenges, among them attribution. Attribution, or the process of determining which channels are driving customer behavior, have always been important for businesses. And in this age, it's more important than ever. And with so many channels and so much noise, it's more difficult to determine which channels are actually driving sales and conversions. And in this episode of The Digital Dish, we will look at what we've seen in the industry so far, what the industry challenge is, four attribution methodologies and their use cases, and finally, solutions to consider in order to get the most from activating attribution methodologies in your marketing strategies. What we know is that all media strategies are tied to outcomes. Whether your brand is looking to measure engagement or actual direct response, you need to know whether you're getting a return on your investment. It's likely that as a marketer, you're running a combination of media and need to track the sources of your traffic to determine what is and what isn't working. This is where attribution comes in. While attribution isn't always easy to understand, it is crucial. It's hard to track a customer's journey. How did they find your website? How do they make their purchase? Why did they make their purchase? How did they express an interest in a service you are offering? But ultimately, you do need to know what the customer journey was from start to finish and understand which channels played a part in the consumer's journey to buy or engage with your product or service. There are a lot of attribution models out there. So today we're going to uncover some truths and simplify it for you. So why measure? Why is attribution so important? Well, to start, you can't improve what you don't measure. By tracking the success, or lack thereof, of your marketing efforts, you can determine what's working and what's not. And that knowledge will help you allocate your resources more effectively in the future, working towards the goal of increasing overall ROI. The most common methodology you'll hear of is the last touch model of attribution. The flaw here is that last touch refers to just that, the last touch point a customer had interacted with before making a purchase. This isn't always accurate, however, since we are all subject to so many screens, shared screens, and innumerable distractions. The single user journey just isn't the case anymore. For example, if a customer sees a social media ad, hears an audio ad, and then sees a display ad that they click on and finally make a purchase, the social and audio ads would not receive any credit in a last touch attribution model. This is why it's important to use more than one attribution model. By using multiple models, you can get a more accurate picture of how your marketing is performing and where you need to make adjustments. So now we're going to review four different attribution methodologies as well as their pros and cons so you can be informed and ultimately choose the right one for your business. So what are they? Let's first start with the last touch methodology, which is the most commonly used. Last touch just refers to that the last touch point of a customer had interacted before making a purchase and therefore giving this last touch point the entire conversion credit. This isn't always accurate, however, since it doesn't take into account all the touch points a customer might have had with your brand or the reality that we're all subject to numerous and shared screens and innumerable distractions. The single user journey just isn't the case anymore. What are the pros for the last touch methodology? Well, this model is easy to understand, easy to set up, and suitable for short buying cycles, customer journeys, or for small organizations looking for top level listings. The cons, it's overly simplistic and not always accurate since it doesn't take into account all the touch points a customer might have with your brand. The single user journey just isn't the case anymore, like I said before. If you're working with a long buying cycle or want to understand how the customer goes from the initial brand awareness stage through the funnel to becoming a customer or user, this methodology isn't for you. Moving on, the next is the first touch methodology, which is completely the opposite of last touch. With first touch, the first time that a customer interacts with your company, that is to determine the most important reason they ended up purchasing with you. The pros, again, it's simple and easy to use and easy to set up. A great use case would be for demand generation or brand awareness if you have a short and simple sales cycle. The cons are that this model overemphasizes the efforts of the top funnel. Consider other methodologies if you have a large budget and want to optimize your marketing strategy for longer or more complex sales cycles. Or if you have a typically attracted plenty of prospects but are failing to convert them. Next up, we have a linear attribution, which is a multi-touch model, meaning it takes into account and attributes credits to multiple touch points along the customer journey. 
In fact, this model actually takes into account every single interaction that a prospect has had with your brand prior to purchasing. This method is incredibly easy to understand as every single touch point is given the same amount of credit. So the equation is as follows. 100% of the overall credit divided by the number of touch points in the conversion plans equals the amount of credit per touch point. So if your customer has four interactions with your brand before deciding to convert, each touch point will therefore have 25% of the credit. Pros of multi-touch, you avoid the shortfalls of first and last touch models. It's also very easy to understand and doesn't require any in-house data science capabilities. It also increases accuracy since it captures all touch points involved in the conversion process. Consider linear attribution if you have limited budget and they're newer to a market but want an overall snapshot of the funnel to see which aspects are heavily involved in pushing prospects down the funnel and which don't really seem to have too much of an impact. However, there are some cons to this model. This model treats every touch point the same way, which indicates that over time, the data could have negative impact on your marketing efforts. Not all touch points have the same influence on a customer, so this shouldn't be considered in a more sophisticated marketing campaign. Finally, there's time decay attribution. This is similar to linear in that it's a multi-touch model that gives some credit to all channels that led to the conversion. However, this is different with that the amount of credit being less or decaying the further back in time the channel was interacted with. So this assumes that the first channel your customer interacted with merely planted the seed and the customer's interest in committing to a purchase grew over time with repeated exposures to various marketing channels. Think of this as a rising level of interest and commitment from the customer over time. This model is usually better for longer sales cycles as time between channel interactions will really serve to highlight the difference in conversion credit they receive. There's increased accuracy with this method as it does capture all touch points. However, it's a bit more complex to set up. The cons, this also places an emphasis on closing as, it's, as the closest touch point to the conversion is valued the most, which gives preference to marketing channels where that action is possible. Another con is that this doesn't consider that all customer journeys are different. So the path that they took to convert may not be best analyzed at the lowest to highest. Now that we can understand what attribution is and different methodologies you can consider, the next step is to review your current strategies to see which ones are working and which ones need improvement. Here are a few tips to help you master attribution in the digital age. One, use a consistent methodology across all channels and platforms. This involves creating benchmark goals and making sure that all channels are performing according to those standards. Two, set up advanced tracking capabilities such as key conversion pixels on high traffic landing pages or mobile app tracking for detailed insights. Having multiple data points will help you pinpoint any weaknesses in your attribution model and make timely adjustments. Three, be proactive in finding ways to increase return on investment from existing channels. You don't want to track just performance. Rather, you should continually seek out ways to improve results through optimization techniques, such as A-B testing or identifying new audiences with demographic data. If you are a brand or agency with a goal to understand which touch point or variable along the consumer path is driving conversions and in the past have been directed to a single touch model, for example, like last or first touch, Start thinking outside of that assumed consumer path and consider a methodology that would best suit your specific set of challenges. Leveraging these best practices and taking advantage of the latest technologies, as well as our custom attribution guidance, will help you master each methodology and create a more sophisticated strategy to drive best results. As technology advances, so too does our ability to measure and optimize attribution. Thanks to powerful data visualization tools, machine learning algorithms, and the ever-growing volume of available customer data, marketers now have access to a wealth of insights when it comes to understanding where each consumer interaction is coming from. Detail is key here, as with the right technology, we can analyze granular data about each marketing initiative, including specific channels, campaigns, and even individual creators to understand how each variable impacts your customer journey and overall bottom line. Our full funnel attribution methodologies help all advertisers across all verticals make better decisions about which tactics are most effective for driving results wherever they may lie in the marketing funnel. Take an example that we recently worked on with a DTC e-commerce brand. 
They had a digital strategy spanning multiple channels from performance CTV to podcast, social and display retargeting. And it was becoming increasingly difficult to equate purchases to any one variable and thus hard to dedicate specific spend to any one channel. Both the first and last touch methodologies were not a suitable solution for this client as they were new to market, had a higher price point of goods and a longer sales cycle. It meant that typically a customer interacted with media multiple times across multiple channels before making a purchase. Our team at Digital Remedy assessed every impression of this campaign and provided traceable data correlating each impression to a conversion, whether that was an online purchase, homepage visit, or email sign-up. This full funnel data allowed us to flag variables that were significant in the customer journey and therefore recommend the allocation of higher spend to these channels and ultimately drive down the CPA for this client. Attribution is a core digital marketing function and it's more complex than most people realize. It's not just about correctly identifying the channels that drove a conversion, but also understanding how each channel works together to influence conversions and from there determining the most effective allocation of dollars and resources. Getting attribution right is essential for optimizing your return on investment. With these data sets and insights, you can make more informed decisions about where to allocate your budget and which channels are most likely to drive down costs per acquisition. The digital landscape is constantly evolving and it's crucial that as marketers, we stay ahead of the curve and master the art of attribution. With the right tools and knowledge, you can make sure your marketing efforts are always working as hard as they can to drive conversions and growth. Think of attribution as step one, once we get that right, we can build upon its foundation with specialized optimization, incrementality, and halo effect methodologies. Thanks for tuning in.